Welcome back to Bowood Park. Front nine ended uh, poorly, but it's bound to happen at some point. This, this rough is pretty juicy and I got in it and I pulled the wrong club. My own damn fault. Right, so the front nine is done and that's the easy nine. Now the back nine is harder, much harder. So I'm told by the pro shop. Let's go and find out. Well, it's OB all the way down the right, the wind's off the left, so I've gone well left, but I think I'm going to be in the fairway. So that's what you couldn't see from back there. Greenside bunker down there. I've gone just to the left of this fairway bunker. I was trying to hit that fade. So it's probably got held up in the rough. This is a great looking hole, probably doesn't look so great from the camera but it, it's a fantastic hole down the hill, going with a 5 iron, I think that's plenty to reach this green down there. I guess we won't know till we get down there. Tell you what, that was absolutely bizarre. Because so I've driven, <laughs> bloody flies. So I've driven down the path with the buggy and I've spotted a ball here. I thought, oh, that's short. How come that's short? So I went over to pick it up. Let me put you down a bit. Some of this Callaway. I thought, how on earth can someone lose a golf ball on the short grass? Then it had me panicking because I was thinking, well, where the hell's my ball? So I uh, found it at the edge of the green. This is a pretty part of the course. It seems like we're going downhill now. There's, the path continues downwards, so we must have some lower holes down there. At least they'll be out of the wind. Well, not quite out of the wind. And this isn't a short hole, so I can't uh, hit me three wood. Well, I can hit me three wood, but then I'll have a very long way into the green. It is as tight as anything. There's water all the way down the right. There's out of bounds left and right. This needs a straight one.
a pop-up fade so we are going to have a long way into the green. You know, sometimes it's best if you don't know what the hazards are. You know, I wasn't aware of the water in front. I wasn't aware that it was all the way down the left-hand side as well. So by just concentrating on my shot without knowing about the dangers, I hit an okay shot. Still can't get the pace of these greens though. This is very American, little wooden covered bridge like this. Very, very New England. Well, from what I can see on the Stroke Saver booklet, this is a very interesting par five. So uh, let's go and make a par five. This is another of those par fives where I get a shot. I don't feel I need shots on par fives. Let's see if I can prove myself correct. Still getting it high on the face, still chopping down. Well, I can't see where this hole goes other than it bends all the way round to the right, balls well below my feet, so I'm going to just slice the nuts off a of five iron. I wish I'd hit a decent drive, then I would have been up there, at certainly another 20 yards, 25 yards, and I might be able to see where I'm going, but from here I can't. I can say with all honesty, I don't know. Never saw it down and I don't know what's over there. I only know that I had to slice the ball. I always believe that a key to lagging is to borrow more than you can see. That way the ball stops by the hole. Because when you miss on the low side, it doesn't half run away. But I misread that, so... But you can see that it stopped, rather than trickling away down to the right of the screen, my left as I put it in.
I'll tell you one thing, I'm sweating over those. I would like the ball a bit closer. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to play this hole again and perhaps play it better. Well, I, I know, I've made a par. So how do you play it better? Well, you just hit a slightly better drive. You hit a slightly better second shot. You hit a slightly better third shot because you're in a better position. And then, well, you're still two putt for par, but it just feels better. You know what I mean? Interesting par three. It's 158 uphill. It's a huge two-tiered green and the flag's down the front. Uh, so I'm going with the five iron with it being up the hill and there's a bit of wind about and if I go long into the heart of the green then that that tier is going to hold the ball on my level so better than going with a six iron and not quite catching it and then having an awkward chip up See, that's, that's only just on. I'm coming down steep and then hitting the ball a little high on the face. So it's popped up and it's weak, but it's got on and it's on our level. So do you think I'm going to make a bird today or not? I've had a chance or two, you know, 15 feet perhaps, but I just haven't got one in the, uh, in the old can yet. Well, it's done better than I thought. It's well on. Still glad I went with a five iron though. It's finished up in a little hollow between the lower tier and the upper tier. Is that slightly uphill, slightly downhill? I don't know. No, it's definitely down. Well, it's not the most exciting round of golf I've ever played, but the uh, sometimes the good scoring rounds just look boring and crap. But when you add it up at the end, you're more than happy. I hope I just haven't put my foot in it there by saying it's going okay. Well, this is as interesting as it gets. It's 251 to the water, which um, I'm going to take driver because with this wind, I don't think I'm going to trouble it and then it dog legs right and goes back up the hill. And remember that couple I let through on the ninth when I made that double to end the round with? They said they lived down the side of the 15th, so one of these wonderful houses down here is theirs. Jealous, just a bit. Well, that's within a yard or two of being out of bounds. Took me quite a while to find this. I was to and fro quite a lot, marching up and down. It is buried. And I am really worried about that ditch, even with a pitching wedge in my hand. Even in the air, I'm thinking, get over. Somebody just made it. 
and I pulled this, I was expecting it to go to the right with a beam below my feet. Now somebody's recently complimented me on my putting. I don't think they'll compliment me for the first putt. But one thing I'm really good at is getting the one back, you know, tidying up a hole. Focusing in on the eight or nine footer or even 10 footer, sometimes 12 footers and just willing the ball into the hole. Well, the best thing I can say about the previous hole is I found two balls in that thick rough before I found my own. And they were decent balls. That makes a change. I normally find Dunlops and top flights. Anyway, a very short hole here. Uh, it looks very tight, so I'm gonna go with a hybrid and basically hope for the best because I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, coming down so steep on the ball. That went like a 9-iron rather than a 3-iron. Well, I should have hit it out to the right and beyond the end of these trees and had a simple pitch in. But the trees aren't high enough to give me any bother. It's just the pitching wedge over the top. I thought it would draw off that lie and didn't, so I've left it way out on the right edge of the green. Nice read, Si. I could do without keep leaving me these, because you know you're going to start missing them. Well, it made it on. Oh, hit it, Simon. And I guess that's why we buy these clubs. Ta-ra!